Welcome to my work desk. Have been busy with relocating. I didn't have the chance to unbox my last toy purchases from Taiwan, and I have one new purchase from Indonesia. The theme today is limited pop mart. These are a few regular pop mart blind boxes, not blister. That's limited, whether regionally or in mount published. The first one is the only one I bought in Jakarta. Is the limited Paki Alexandrio collaboration only in Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, and Vietnam? As you can see, I got the Kuromi one. My friend is the one who chose it for me. I just told him to choose the heaviest. I really like the backpack design. Very eye-catching. Pink skull and a wisps of white hair under the cap. However, I got the feeling that there is less detailed design on the figure. Previous Paki toy art have been very intricate in motif, texture, or a unique color combo or ombre. To quote Pop Mart artist profile, Paki creations are like a colorful dream with sensitivity and dark side. So I guess when you are collaborating, sometimes you have to compromise. Now, the next one is collaboration Pop Mart with Marvel, titled Marvel Spider-Man Maximum Phenom. It's only out in South Korea. The series consists of several Spider-Man figures, several Venom figures, and then some major baddies like Rhino, Doc Ock, and Green Goblin. But the one that I want the most is the only half Spider-Man, half Venom. It's a changing Spider-Man. Oh, look at that! Isn't he cool? I really like it. The Phantom Half surprisingly nice shiny vinyl, turning from black to navy blue. So it is a very contrasting with the bright matte red blue of the Spidey Half. One note though, I don't like the eyes part. Behind the transparent vinyl, the gray eyes look like printed on photocopier paper. Then we continue to the latest Hirono City of Mercy. Hirono has been issuing three series within two years. I have bought the whole box of the first and second series, but I didn't get City of Mercy since I think it's too similar to the previous ones. And I have budget constraints too. So I decided to get only the elephant one, uh, the comfortably numb because it's the centerpiece of uh, Lang's The Designer Art Exhibition in Shanghai, July 2022. And announced at the end of March, this elephant design will be reproduced for special issue to be released on Good Friday, 7 April 2023. Oh wow, I can understand why. This one is so gorgeous. This is how to do eyes. See the difference compared to the Spider-Man eyes? So City of Mercy was also available as gift box in which the secret figure is also included together with a photo book. However, it is out of stock at their website. The regular complete set is in pre-order when I check in April 4th. As always, Hirono figure invite us to think. To reflect, if we are just like Hirono in elephant suit, has become blissfully ignorant to our surroundings. Moving on to Mega Collection Space Molly. Pop Mart originally issued the figures in large size, a thousand percent variants or the four hundred percent variants. However, due to the high price, not many can purchase them. Therefore, starting from 11 August 2022,
Pop Mart launched the figure as one set in regular Pop Mart figure size 100%, which have a more affordable pricing. I got the Kit Herring one. The bigger size was launched in early November 2021. This edition featured the childlike stencils and vivid color of Kit Herring. His signature etched across the astronaut name tag and gun. The report says, within days, the entire line has sold out. Interestingly, this smaller collection also sold out consistently. It got so bad that some reseller increased their price from the original price uh, of 370 NTD to 550 NTD per single box. Popmart website as of uh, April 3rd only sells single boxes while the whole set is no longer available. The Kit Herring collaboration and the SpongeBob one that preceded this suggests that Popmart has the ambition to go international. If you are curious on how Popmart uh, collaborates with deceased artists like Kit Herring, an interesting article uh, is uh, available below for your reading. For the figure itself, I really like the visor, the alien eyes, and then I really like that it's all uh, articulated. You can twist the head, the hands, and the legs a little bit. Last but not least, Sati Rory X Chupa Chups. It is a collaboration between Seoul G, Korean artist, with Perfetti Van Mele, the company that produced the candy. So this is my first Sati Rory, and this specific collection only sold in Taiwan, Hong Kong, Macau, and maybe mainland China. I don't know. Perfetti Van Mele is a global confectionery group owner of brands such as Chupa Chups and Mentos. The flower shaped logo initially designed by Salvador Dali. Yes, the melting clock eccentric artist weird master Salvador Dali. For my first Rory, I choose the caramel flavor because it just looks so delicious. The final brown really like a melted caramel. It's shiny and a little transparent. Unlike other figures in the set, the caramel has two different colored hooves, pink and blue. It's surprisingly big and solid too. The artist Shoji decided never to give Sati Rory a mouth. With him, it's all about the eyes. There never a fixed emotion on his face, only ever those eyes staring into somewhere else. There you go, what do you think? Is there any significance to their limitation? Or globally available figures are no difference? Thank you for watching, see you next time!